Well, art comes in many forms, from poetry to musicals, dancing, and much more. But for this week's In Focus, reporter Destiny Wiggins visited an art workshop in Leonard where participants learned about a Swedish style of painting. Storytelling canvases with specific elements to make them unique to Sweden art that focuses on certain flower formations creates a painting called Kerbits. We've had to tone this down because there's a lot going on here. So we're focusing a little bit more on the flower form today. Um, in the last two days, we've been focusing on the flower form from the northern Sweden part um, that flower form is called a Kerbits and so the name of the class has been the Kerbits Workshop. The Bagley Area Arts Collaborative Incorporated hosted the three-day workshop allowing participants to learn more about Swedish art. I think it's good to um, try to uh, promote and keep the traditional painting going. Um, a lot of that has stopped now and even in Norway and Sweden they don't paint as much as they used to. So we're trying to encourage people to learn how to paint both Norwegian and Swedish. And for some of the artists, learning about Kerbit's painting goes back to learning about their own heritage as well. Well, first of all, I have um, Scandinavian heritage. And the more I learn about it, the more interested I become. I've also um, traveled in Sweden and saw a lot of the Kerbit paintings before and just more and more triggers the interest. One of the things that I think is really important if you're going to start working on these is if you can find some pictures of the old, um, take a look at them really closely. Take a look at those big gourd-like leaves and notice the fine details inside. Our instructor Bloomquist takes the elements of the Kerbert's painting traditions and uses it to tell her own stories, using inspirations and experiences that are personal to her, hoping that her students take on the same idea. When the students go on and paint this way after this class is over, um, I'm hoping what they do is just take this flower that we've learned to paint in the last three days, but I hope they create a bigger conversation on a larger canvas and tell a story of their own. And the workshop was funded by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Reporting for this week's In Focus, Destiny Riggins, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.